is a feature of democratic societies. And the simplest definition, one that we can all understand and act on, is that lobbying is influencing those with power over us so that things can be changed in our favour. And we see business doing it all the time, and we see um, pressure groups and lobbying groups do it all the time. And the meaning of the ex the meaning of the word is extended outside of politics and outside of civil society. And we now use it, don't we, um, about work? Oh, I'm lobbying the boss. So the board have got to change that. Let's go and lobby. The boss. A moral code for personal behavior and it applies to any human activity so of course lobbying can be ethical and it can also be unethical that's the choice as free individuals we all make a related question and perhaps more interesting is is lobbying consistent with democracy and there's a very big debate about it. Historically, lobbying has been associated with, associated with the powerful, usually business, getting power, more power, out of government. Since the 60s, lobbying has also been done by interest groups and pressure groups and cause groups and civil society generally. So, lobbying is now available to any group of people with a grudge, with a cause, who want change. So, and the first one is, be honest. Present your cause in the public interest and not as a selfish interest. Make your lobbying case very simple, very straightforward, no more than one side of A4. Then go to the people with the power, the key decision makers, and talk to them man to man, woman to woman, woman to man. All the best. <laughs>